Welcome, fellas. I make these look cool. And I can actually see now. Anyway, um, last night I went on the uh, TFLers show to hopefully uh, reach out to some of the fellows on there and show them there are more way, more than one way to solve your problems with women. Because I'm, I'm proactive about stuff. I believe in a man getting out there doing something. And I see my glass of reflecting light, so let me look downwards. So I believe in a man being proactive about his life, and that's the difference between uh, their movement and ours. Um, I started talking to Bill to see what they're, they're about. Uh, I learned from Dwayne, I believe his name was Dwayne, you know, what the movement was about a long time ago, but it was good to hear from the originators' uh, thoughts on the whole thing, too. Um, they're not that far off from the page, same page, the page we're on, fellas. That's what I kind of noticed when I was listening to Dwayne's stuff. You know, that they're not that far off in their beliefs. Uh, and talking to Bill, he's aware of the New World. You guys know who I'm talking about. Their influence on society. Unfortunately, um, we don't live in a perfect world. And I noticed a lot of the members you know, they're angry because we don't live in a perfect world. And I was trying to make some of the members aware that, um, unfortunately, it's a marketing thing out there. You got to learn how to market yourself. So what it's not fair. So what uh, hot guys get laid easily, you know. So I just like I told them, so what? I'm going to go get mine, though. You know, I had a lot of fun in the game. And I explained to them how I was uh, competing in the white yuppie world and I faced a lot of rejection out there. You guys know that I got girls pulled away from me and scolded for dancing with a black guy more than once. It wasn't just one single time. And they were pulled they were pulled like left and right all the time. And this was because, you know, this is the eighties, so it was different back then. You know, black folks weren't that considered that cool back then. And it's only because of certain actors, you know, that we become more of a, a cooler race, I guess. But we're still, as a race, we're still the least desired. So uh, a lot of black fellows face a lot of issues out there in the game. And there was a couple of black fellows on the show. Uh, one was that guy that walks around the dark that films himself uh, ranting and stuff. You know, and I talked to him and I talked to another bro young brother and a couple other people. And I could see that, you know, like one brother, I guess he was hurt by a woman. And that's their way of dealing with it. See, I'm different. And these males, I could see that they got that whole programming thing. The people in charge of the planet, they don't want males being proactive, okay? They don't want males being um, aggressive. The, the eventual goal is for us to become a sexless society. And I've heard and learned that more than once, okay? So to stop the breeding between people and breed us down to 500 million, you know, there's too many people on the planet uh, to them and they don't want the less, what they call the lesser races around and all that kind of nonsense. It's stupid that one, one little group of people and they're not even that many of them can have such a devastating effect on all of us to the point where we have males that will not go out and fight. Okay. Uh, more f more feminization of males has occurred on the planet so that we have a race of males that not just speaking of of this tfl fellows but all males on the planet we have a race of males who lack that initial aggressiveness that males have and i can see that can be a good thing because you could lead it to lesser wars because that's what causes you know stupidity stuff um power groups fighting within each other. And then you got the, the uh, top masters playing each one like puppets. They don't give a damn about the countries, what country you're from. To them, it's the whole world, okay? They don't care if you're Russian, uh, Chinese, or whatever. You know, their goal is to control the whole world. And if you, if you don't believe in that stuff, you're one dumb motherfucker. You know, you got your head in the sand. That's what they want. They want people to have their head in the sand. So I don't like talking about that subject because I don't want their attention. You know, I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm trying to uh, f fight back this way. I'm trying to help guys out. 
because this is a passion of mine, okay? And these glasses look kind of interesting. I only wear them when I get my eyes get tired from reading, but I think I should start wearing them more often. What do you guys think? Because I make them look good. You got to believe in yourself, okay? And my vanity is coming back, so that's why I've been losing weight and I'm getting... It, it's really a sense, a sense of vanity, vainness, um, that drives you people to lose weight or correct themselves, improve themselves, that need to become better. That's actually a spark coming from nature, okay? So behind the vanity is that spark from nature to improve the race, improve yourself. And I'm beginning to listen to that voice again that communicates to me that desire to make myself better. Like many of you are doing and many of you should be doing. So in looking at the whole group of males on the planet, my message is, as I said in my last video, I just did a moment ago, if you are having trouble with your life which many of you guys are, not just the TFL movement, but many of you guys listen to me, you're having trouble with the dating world, okay, and your life. That's because there's something going on inside of you that's fucking it up, okay? So you gotta look inside for your solutions. It's not actually found in some, some techniques and some tricks and magic acts and all that kind of shit sit out playing a guitar for a female hoping she'll feel your love it's trouble coming inside of you because you're going to keep keep hitting your head against the wall over and over again until you do the work inside okay you got to clear up the bullshit inside i just did a smart black guy video and the fellow i was talking to he's got a lot of bullshit going inside you know he's got that white supremacy thing programmed into him like a lot of other africans in this country that's why you see the angry youtube videos and people getting angry at uh, cocky at white, white folks they don't realize that white folks got tool too in this country and all over so okay so we all got we all getting used by the people at the top you know that's the word we need to point the figure at finger at not the dumbed down redneck that's you know programmed and taught to hate all races but his own that's that's bullshit that's just just cannon fodder to these people you know enjoyment I'm always reminded of that whenever I see in those old Greek movies uh, where the gods were moving people like chess pieces. That's what it's like. And it's interesting they put that shit in the videos because I think some of these people that make these, these movies, they know what's going on. And they they kind of sneak stuff in there, hoping someone will see it and will wake up. Like I woke up in my ninth grade when I saw that movie, A Clockwork Orange. Bam, and I realized what's going on with the words sheep, thought I. And I've never felt like a sheep. I've been one of those kids that was always different and stepped into my own, own drum. That's why uh, my parental figure, the mother unit, my parental unit, <laughs> tried to beat that shit out of me because she's a control freak. So it was like natural, bam, I woke up. And then I started paying attention to what's going on in the world. Since the ninth grade, I'm now 52. So I've seen a lot of stuff and I recognize a lot of bullshit. Like I recognize when Michael Jackson married uh, Elvis Presley's daughter is that is a political move. And it reminded me of the days when back in the primitive or earlier days when uh, castles would marry other uh, people in other castles or kingdoms, those political marriages, that's what it reminded me of because he was facing a lot of issues and questions about his sexuality was going on. So. What's the, what's the logical thing? When you think logically or, or really see behind the bullshit, you see the truth of it. And I'm not trying to defame the man. I know there's a lot of African-Americans and Caucasian folks that like the man, okay? But when you start to see behind stuff, then you see the truth of it, okay? You gotta wake up. And when you wake up, you gotta look at inside yourself and see what's really going on. What's really causing your problems in life? And you look inside, you'll see that's where it's coming from. As that old African saying was, well, let's give you the current version of it. So it is below, so it is above. But the original one was so it is on the inside, so it is on the outside. Okay, so if your life is, is fucked up, look inside. Because that's a microcosm. Okay, so look at your life. Are you living the kind of life you want to live right now? 
Or are you miserable, mad, angry at women, blaming women for what's biologically their, their way they're made up, their biological makeup? Wishing this was a perfect world and living in a fantasy that this should be a certain way? Look inside and you'll see what, what the bullshit's going on inside there. This is the planet Earth. The planet Earth is a very tough place. We have people out there that will hate you for the color of your skin. People out there that will hate you because they just hate, period. This is not a perfect world. Women are not perfect. I know a lot of guys who have that belief think that women should, should be these pristine things up on a pedestal. They never fart. They never take a dump. And I used to believe that when I was a kid, that women didn't take dumps. I was really young, but I remember that. So, unfortunately, women are just like we are. Flawed to the core, just like we are. We're not perfect. Once you learn to accept that truth, then you begin to get beyond your own bullshit that's in your heads and begin to see life for what it is. Then you begin to play the game of life. And I know some people hate that word, game. Unfortunately, life isn't perfect. This is not a perfect world. So it's a game. If you treat it like a game, rather words, you can come out on top. You could, you could, you could treat it like whatever you want. If you don't like to use the word game, so what? Use Ooga Booga, okay? Use Ooga Booga. If you want to play the Ooga Booga, or if you want to participate in the Ooga Booga, then do so, okay? Because when you participate in it, then you start to grow. It's the fellows who, who eject themselves out from participating. They're the ones who stay angry and pissed off and mad at the world. And they're the ones who, who it builds up inside of them. And all they can do is attract other negative things. All they see in the world is negativity. And one good thing my mother did say, if you look for the bad, you'll find the bad. If you look for the good, you'll find the good. And there's some good out there. There are good women out there. There are good men out there. There are good people out there. So the fellows that are pissed off, they tend to only look for the bad. And in my conversation with some of the uh, fellows last night, I noticed that. All they see is the bad. They don't see the good girls out there who... who um, marry because of love. All they see is the, the women that cheat on their husbands eventually and, and reject their men. But what they don't see is what went on in the relationship. Men, we tend to get lazy after the relationship and stop doing the things that it takes to, to keep a healthy relationship going. And so do women. So the fault can be on both sides. Okay, because needs aren't getting met. People start getting resentful on both sides. It takes two to tangle. We can't just blame women. That's male-centeredness. Male and I always equate that to religious organizations, you know, because they're very male-centered. Uh, in Catholicism, at one time, I don't know if it's changed. I, I don't think it's changed, but they did, couldn't. you can be a female and be a priest. That's why a lot of women went to other organizations, so they could become priests like Mary Magdalene, is believed to have actually been an apostle. And I believe the Catholic Church did, did apologize or did put something out to that effect. So here we have guys who have their lives all fucked up and angry about it. And I'm the type that let's do something about it. Let's get out there and do something. Let's do some work because that's how I ran my life. That's why I started my first business. That's why I entered Toastmasters to better myself. And in better myself, I won all those competitions. Okay, that's the kind of person I am. And that's why I want to attract other people who are like that or want to become like that. I have no time for people who want to sit there and wallow and be angry and only see negativity. You know, my channel, it is a business too. So I run, I'm going to run it like a business. Uh, if you have negative stuff to say, I'm going to eject you from the group and only Look at the positive. That Call that weak or whatever you want to, but that's how it works in business. So it's not a perfect world, and I'm not a perfect business, but I'm still trying. And I will keep on trying, brothers. Peace out.